Hey, what's going on there, folks? It is Earthmaster here, August 12th again, 2018, 2.37 p.m. here, my time. And we got uh, another large earthquake coming into the Alaska region here. Uh, they did have a 6.4 uh, earlier today, earlier during the day. I did do an update video on it. Now another large earthquake showing up on the seismograph stations here, as you can see uh, them being reported or, or being picked up here on the seismograph stations uh, across the globe here. Uh, from a rather large, once again, USGS reporting this earthquake at a 6.4 magnitude. Uh, I'll bring you guys over here so you guys can see the map that I'm talking about. USGS map uh, showing a 6.2, I mean 6.4, pretty much within the same vicinity of the uh, prior 6.4 this morning. Let me guys show you the other one that uh, did occur, uh, well, let's see if I can find it here. Yeah, 6.4. This was earlier this morning since then. There's been quite a bit of aftershock activity there. Uh, a lot of fives, a lot of fours, uh, building up, building up, a lot of twos, and now we just see another 6.4 occurring. So this is rather interesting to see a similar, same magnitude here as an aftershock. You know, uh, just quite a bit of activity being picked up there. A lot of pressure being applied well off the plates there. I'll get to that here in just a second. Right now, no tsunami statement, no tsunami warning from that station or from that site, and none from these folks as well. As this is um, on land, and it should not, uh, get back to the earthquakes here, uh, should not generate any type of tsunami whatsoever, well inland here by uh, about 10 or 20 miles, I believe. So here's a progression of the earthquakes here. Uh, earlier this morning, we had that 6.4 kind of off here to the west towards these uh, mountains. Uh, what, what are they called here? Uh, Shublik Mountain. I, if I pronounce it wrong, I apologize. I don't want to get slaughtered for wrong pronunciations, but it does happen to these uh, uh, foreign names. I just, I'm not too familiar with them, uh, but it is taking place up here uh, with just to the northeast of there in <laughs> Saddle. Let's see here. Sadler Rochit Mountains. You know what? I know I slaughtered that one. I apologize in advance. But anyway, uh, you can see the progression of all these earthquakes here. Not necessarily in one specific spot. A regional, yes. But when you go into a zoom feature here on a scale, we're looking at five miles here um, on a scale. And the difference between the 6.4 and this 6.4 is actually quite a bit of distance here. We're looking at 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, about 25 miles or so, maybe more, 30 miles uh, between the two. And the pressure itself, uh, aftershock activity, is not confined to one spot either. We're not seeing just a general uh, aftershock activity around the main quake. It's kind of progressing if you look at it. Uh, and progressing over here towards the northeast where this most current earthquake is and now just having a 5.4 just to the north. So definitely a lot of activity uh, going on within this region here and we're definitely keeping an eye on it as it tends to uh, make its way over here towards the northeast section. Uh, like I said, it's clearly visible along these mountain ranges right here uh, and just off of there as well. Uh, taking a look at the bigger scale, let me see if I can bring up any fault systems uh, within this area. I'm sure there is. Uh, jump off there real quick. Uh, but I'm sure this map isn't showing everything that's that's uh, that is up there. It's showing just a couple separate uh, fault systems up here. But uh, what do we got? The Camden Camden Bay faults. Uh, but this is well off of there. I'll have to look uh, a little bit closer, do a little bit more investigation and to see what, syst uh, what fault systems are uh, within that vicinity. But either way, we're getting a little comma-like hook here from the progression of the earthquakes. You can see the more recent earthquakes being in red. Uh, of course, once again, the most recent there, the 5.4. And it looks as though there's another 5.4 showing up as well. Uh, let me double check and see if that is indeed true. Okay, here's the Alaska station. I'll bring this up here a little bit. These are live seismographs here. Uh, it's not gonna let me go back into the uh, to the big 6.4, but you can see a lot of activity. Um, uh, 
popping up here on the Kavik River, Alaska Station. Very close to the epicenter um, of all this activity. I guess there's really no epicenter, but generally pretty close to the uh, regional activity that's going on here. As you can see, lots of, uh, lots of earthquakes are being reported. These are a little ways away from the station. That's why they're not showing up distinctively sharp. It's kind of like a, um, a blip, a blur on the seismograph station here. A lot of times you'll just see a really sharp spike like we've seen when that 6.4 came on here just a few minutes ago. Uh, either way, it's definitely being picked up on other stations now. Southern California, Mammoth Lake's picking it up. Uh, you can see this little uh, increase in activity there. Now this is just the equipment picking it up. San Andreas Fault System and Hollister picking it up as well. And um, so yeah, interesting activity nonetheless. We'll have to see if these two 5.4s hold true uh, because we were definitely seeing a progression of earthquakes over here towards uh, the north and east region. The 6.4 here occurred, uh, I'm, it's showing 0.1 kilometers. Now, I'm not for sure if that's 100% accurate or not as uh, the preliminary data is just being uh, picked up. Make sure we're still on there. It looked like we had a, a blur of uh, activity. Okay. Um, not for sure what's going on with the USGS site. There's not... Oh, there we go. I'm just... It's been one of those days. I just didn't click on the link here. Um, and what is going on? There we go. Yeah, point one kilometer is what it's being reported. They may update it. We'll have to keep an eye on it. A uh, few folks reporting, feeling that. There's no doubt. Like I say, this is uh, transgress. It's kind of progressing over towards the northeast. Uh, as I've been saying, it's kind of strange, folks. A little bit of update on the activity here. 6.4 right there. They have relocated uh, those fives. So they are no longer 5.4s. It looks like one downgraded to 5.0 and another one down to 5.3, but in a totally different location as well. Um, so not necessarily north, now we're looking at more south uh, within that region there of the 6.4 that just occurred. Either way, on a large scale, we're definitely seeing a uh, an increase in pressure up there along that Brooks Range and the North Slope region up there in Northern Alaska. Uh, something big, look like it may be heading towards that region. Um, as with any earthquake there, you always have a good chance of seeing a much larger earthquake uh, following events like this. I mean, we're seeing two 6.4s now with mini fives, mini fours, mini threes, mini twos, all uh, within a certain area. So heads up in Northern Alaska as we could see uh, I'm guessing over the, last, over the next 24 hours, we should definitely be on alert uh, for this region here for a bigger earthquake, possibly. Uh, not a prediction, folks. I do not predict earthquakes. I just take a look at the data, uh, look at past activity and past earthquakes. Uh, of course, each fault system, each subduction zone, each uh, region of earthquakes is totally different and independent of each other. But when we see a couple larger earthquakes uh, with no really no main shaker I guess uh, you know I thought the 6.4 was gonna be it uh, but now we have a second 6.4 and uh, like I say mini fives and uh, these 6.4s are definitely um, a ways away from each other like I said probably about 25 30 miles from each other with many many earthquakes uh, in between them uh, could lead to a bigger earthquake in the region or within the vicinity so heads up not a prediction, but definitely be on alert, be on guard. If you guys, if there is anybody up there in northern Alaska, uh, beautiful range up there, beautiful countryside. Uh, like I say, it's just outside of these mountain ranges here. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, we will keep an eye on it. We are live streaming 24-7. Uh, we do have a current live stream data coming in from Alaska right now near Kavik River, Alaska, this station right here, pretty close to the epicenter of all the activity going on there. 
in Alaska. So for now, uh, we'll end this video and uh, get back to the live stream. Hope you guys are having a good, safe day out there. And uh, we'll chat you guys a little bit later. Peace.